large. How do you deal um, with this pressure of, um, yeah, basically make every word count that every word can be misinterpreted or as, as um, the question was here said, um, having legal, legal implications? Um, it's a good question. Uh, as I say, you have to be interested in uh, language and you have to be willing to accept, you have to understand and believe that it's important to get it right. Is it a pressure? Well, yes, if you're in the middle of a negotiation, I can think of one or two occasions where you think, have I got that right? Am I, if I agree to this line, am I giving away something vital that I'm going to get in trouble for later? But um, no, usually, and certainly early on in your career, you're not going to be doing it by yourself. Um, so that, I, I don't think it's the sort of, you have to be interested in it. If you're not interested in it, multilateral diplomacy certainly isn't for you. Um, but if you are interested in it, uh, it is something that you learn along with other skills to improve. You will be working with others. The legal point is an important one. As I say, this will depend to a certain extent on the country or in some countries will expect you to have studied quite a lot of uh, international law before you start. So they'll have a baseline, which is rather different. In the British case, that isn't true. And uh, I think in every uh, foreign ministry, there are specialist legal advisors uh, who are obviously uh, professional international lawyers who will advise when there is a very specific legal issue. You should be able to work out for yourself what a word means, but they will help you uh, when there are references back to other parts of international law, whether there are precedents which need to be taken into account, whether uh, how a, uh, you know, a United Nations resolution, for example, uh, when it's under chapter six or chapter seven of the uh, uh, of the charter and so on, how they differ and uh, of what you need to have in mind and, and why you're doing. So I think it, these are things that uh, they're skills, yes, um, skills you can learn and you can improve. Having an interest is really important. A um, bit like if you're going to be a, a banker, having an interest in numbers and mathematics is rather important. If you're going to be a multilateral diplomat, especially having a, a strong interest in in words and the importance of them. I mean, I think one finds some people do, uh, do are interested. Some people can't. Don't don't see why it's important. Uh, if you're uh, if you do see why it's important, um, you're on the right track.